Oh, well, this says quite clearly. Thank you for sending the picture, because you said, I feel uncomfortable about traveling without seeing a picture of the cat. Correct. And you say to her, ah, thank you, beautiful. Is that the girl or the boy? I appreciate it so much. She says, the boy. And you say, he looks wonderful, thank you. So when you went there, you were not going for the female kitten, you were going for the boy. Because you say to her, I'm having a bit of a hard time reconciling myself to get a kitty that I haven't seen. So she sends you a picture of the boy, and you said, I love him, he's beautiful. You have anything to show me that suggests that before you went out there, you changed your mind and wanted the girl? I had always wanted the girl. No, 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 no. That, that's not what this says. By my comment that, to the photo, it was acknowledging that it was a good-looking cat. No, that's not what this acknowledges. I bought enough cats and dogs like this to know that that's not what you're acknowledging here. You say, I want to see the picture of the kitty that I'm traveling to see. She sends you a picture of the male. Mm -hmm. You specifically ask her, is that the boy or the girl? She says, it's the boy. You say, oh, he's beautiful. So I don't believe you that you went there for the female cat. I know you have to be careful because I read your complaint and I read her answer. So let's keep it truthful, because if you're not going to be truthful with me, I'm not going to believe anything that you say to me. Do you understand? Yes. Good. So you went there, and the intention was to buy the boy, because that's the only picture that she sent you. No, it's not the only picture she sent me. Show me a picture of the female that she sent you. I didn't print out the um, kitten picture. So the, so the answer is you don't have it. She has evidence. This is evidence. I never expressed the intention. I don't care what you expected. That's the evidence that I have before me. I don't have any other evidence. Now you want to tell me, and I want you to be aware of the fact that I now believe that you traveled from California to Minnesota to pick up the male kitten. And when you got there, you want to tell me what happened. So she picked me up from the airport and brought me to her home where she had all of her cats around the house. And she wanted me to get to know several of the cats to try to decide which to purchase. So I got to be around her cats for a while, and after coming back from dinner, she suggested that perhaps some of them could spend the night with me, and so I could get a better feel for their personalities. And in the morning, she still said... Just a second, did you take any of them back to your yes. hotel? How many? Well, I stayed in her home. That was nice. So you stayed in her home around the kittens? Yes. And? And I stayed the night with our current female and her brother, so the two within the litter, as well as one older white one that was for sale. And? And in the morning, she said, well, have you decided? And I said, yeah, I would like to purchase the female. And she said, okay, great, let me get her ready for travel. And so she cleaned her ears, she trimmed her nails, and she said, oh, by the way, it has a little bit of a teary eye, here's some antibiotics have, that should take care of it, no problem. She gave no sort of indication that it could potentially be a chronic issue. So why didn't you take the boy? Because she le led me to believe that See, it would be... It's not going to happen for you. What? Your case is not going to happen for you. You went there with a view towards taking the male cat. Now you get there and you decide you want the female. She told you that something was wrong with the female cat. You elected to take the female cat anyway where you were going there t for the boy, that's clear. You elected to take a cat that you knew something was wrong with. And it wasn't as if you were taking it from Los Angeles to Venice Beach, you were going from California to Minnesota. So that's a big risk. And it's not that I haven't purchased cats before. So I understand that. Sometimes you fall in love and you say, oh, but I'm in love with it and I can take care of it. But there's something not smart about taking an animal halfway across the country that you know there's something wrong with when you have a perfectly healthy cat that you actually went there to purchase.